Primping. Primping. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Knitting Place podcast. It is Tuesday evening. It's June 4th. I feel like a newscaster. <laughs> <laughs> it is cloudy outside. No, actually, it's very nice outside right now. Um, you're tuning into the Knitting Place podcast. I'm Dinah. I'm Pam. You can find me at the Knitting Place on Ravelry. The Knitting Place on Facebook, and The Knitting Place on Instagram. And I am Pam Sapp on Instagram and Pam Sapp on Ravelry. Please subscribe and follow us. Right. All right, let's talk business. What's first, Dinah? What have you How been you doing? doing? <laughs> what you, you doing? doing? I haven't seen you lately. I know, really. <laughs> I had a weekend off. It was I bizarre. Know. I know, I it was know. Really I'm crazy. Nice. And what did you do? I was actually at a baby shower. It was really nice. Christy Voss and Cecilia, Creative CC, yeah. threw or hosted a baby shower for Danielle, Gemma Darlings, and it was up in Rhinebeck. It was absolutely beautiful. It's been pretty up there at this time of year. First of all, it was a beautiful weekend. Yeah, you did have nice weather. You the did. whole weekend was gorgeous, mm-hmm. and then it was just a beautiful, epic day. Mm-hmm. I mean... Imagine a well, baby shower know, surrounded by knitters. Yeah, I was just going to say that. That was the whole thing. I mean, many times we have to go to these things and we're like dreading, oh, we have to go to a baby shower or whatever it might be, right? No. But you were with a baby shower with knitters. I mean, amazing. how much fun was that? It was it's like a knitting amazing. weekend, right? It was amazing, <laughs> really. It was a lot of fun. The theme was actually Harry Potter. Is that right? Yes. And Danielle is a Ravenclaw. Which, oh, she is a Ravenclaw. Yeah. You know, I was going to look that up recently. It was on... Um, somewhere online and it said what house are you but for me to find out what house I was I had to give like all my personal information this one of those Facebook and I said I am not doing that why should I give up all my personal Mm -hmm. I mean I'd love to know what house I am it's funny well but I don't know is there another way of doing it without giving up all your I was reading like the descriptions of what the different houses are are. so I don't know what they all are I know that there's Gryffindor you said that there's Ravenclaw Mm -hmm. which I know Ravenclaw Slytherin Slytherin and Gryffindor Gryffindor was Harry Potter I think okay and there's Hufflepuff and I know I'm a Hufflepuff how did you find that out because when you looked at it's funny because I wrote it down you have to be you're trustworthy well how did you know that you how did you know that you well because my traits no 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 but there's something that you there's something that figures it out okay I didn't do it's the like whole... A, like a no, sorting hat. <laughs> on Harry Potter, there's the sorting hat. Yes. There are a lot of things I learned about Harry Potter this Correct. weekend. Right, right, right. We played bingo in... Uh, Harry so, Potter bingo? Harry Potter bingo. Right. It was very cute. I knew none of the answers, but I just answered based on right. the crowds. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we followed the, uh, exactly. the trend. Um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. But she drew the questions out of the sorting hat. Right. And... There's something with, I can't believe I can't remember. Christy was so proud of these. It was dirt with the little baby inside the ground. Do you know what that is with no. the tree? No. Anyway, no she idea. made these chocolate chocolate chip cupcakes. And oh, she and had she this like the, little toy And the baby, baby was inside the cupcake. <laughs> oh, that's so hysterical. funny. She made delicious cookies, chocolates. She's but I still good. want to know really how nice. you know. I Now I, I need to find but out what house I, I am. Only, excuse me. You picked I, it up on traits. You didn't exactly. look online. No. no I, well, you gotta I look read online. what the house is represented. If anyone knows how we can find out our house without giving up all our personal information, <laughs> let us go. know. <laughs> I still don't know anything about Harry Potter. Well, I mean, my kids, you know, my kids grew up in the age of Harry Potter, you know. And as a matter it? of fact, J.K. Rowling, this was, I think, her second book had come out. And she was coming to town. She was going to be at our local bookshop, The Dolphin. No kidding. And I'll never forget, this had to be 19, let's go back now, 1990, I don't even know what, 1998, 99. And it was a Friday afternoon, and she was going to be there at, say, 2.30. And so, but I had to pick kids up from school, and I had to do all the carpooling stuff, so I sent my father. Oh, good old grandpa got online. He was like the first one online. (laughs) So he stayed there until I got there. Were they living at the landmark? Yes. Okay, so it was like across the street. Right. So he got online and and then I came and I got, you know, he left Mm -hmm. and we waited. We must have waited two or three hours. She She got there. You know, Patty was the owner at the time of the Dolphin. And we actually went into this little local bookstore. And she was signing books. Can you imagine J.K. Rowling? In I mean, Washington. forget that. I mean, that would <laughs> never happen now. But I, and I have we have a picture. So the local Port News 
took a picture of my father standing online. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Waiting to get her. Yeah, I have it. I still have it. Bring it in. But you have to understand, my kids, when the, at this time, you know, this is before. Can you put your hands on it? I probably can, yeah. I have Snap to a picture, we'll insert I, it. I'll uh, try to do that. <laughs> um, but, you know, my kids, and, and at the time when these books were coming out, they always seemed to come out in the summertime for summer reading. And it would be like, okay, it's coming out Friday night at midnight. And people would get online at the bookstores at, at night so they could get <laughs> there. Out to get and we would go up to Woodlock for the summer and, and everybody would be reading it. So like they'd so run cute. and get the book and they'd read the whole book in the weekend, you know. So fun. But they used to love that. Good memory. They still love Harry Potter. I just realized I wanted to get something out of the what? register. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I know what you're talking about. Okay. I know what you're talking about. So you anyway. can hold the fort down. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to say it was a wonderful weekend. Talk about um, what you did. Talk about what you, made. what you made. Oh, okay. I can talk about what I made. I made a little, would you call it like a cheerleader outfit? <laughs> well, it started out being based on Harry Potter. Right. So the theme was Harry Potter and everyone could use their imagination. If you wanted to knit something, sure. I wanted to knit something. And I started thinking about photo ops and I was, my mind was thinking the little tutu skirt for the photo op you initially. A tutu skirt with the Harry Potter, with the house yes. colors. And then it, it evolved as I right. started looking on Ravelry and I started looking for patterns. I found the girly girl soaker. I'm not sure who it's That's by. what the bottom piece was, Yes, right? and mm -hmm. it was the cutest thing because underneath it had the cute little underpants. Well, it was like all attached, one piece, right? Attached, very fun knit, mm -hmm. uh, pleated, Right. and I added the stripes. So you I made put it the a, house color in, I right? did the house colors, correct. And so then, you did you did Danny's house colors? Correct. Which were, what house is she in? Hufflepuff? Ravenclaw. No. And, and what? I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> oh, and what are they, gray, uh, gray and blue, blue and gold? It's, Bronze, gray, blue, really bronze or gold. I think the Harry like Potter house gray. colors were like burgundy and gold. Correct. That's Gryffindor. That's Gryffindor. Mm -hmm. right. No one wants to be in Slytherin, by the way. <laughs> Nobody wants to be in Slytherin. I don't know. In any event, from there, I decided to make a matching sweater. Mm -hmm. And we had just gotten the trunk show from Wolf Oak. Mm -hmm. And I was inspired oh, by the flat. Right. Yep, yep, yep. And oh, I was yeah, using yeah. the wolf folk colors. I was using the wolf folk tin. Do you have a pic? Do you have a picture of this? I have to insert it. Yes, I'll insert the little outfit. So I had a lot of fun. So the so you sweater did that you did the sweater yourself. The sweater was my pattern right. original. I actually did not write it. I probably could write something you very didn't. You similar. You haven't written it. No, I kind of have it up here. Okay, it's like but a, it's an original. It's like a. It's like a like you said a cheerleader look like a varsity. Mm -hmm. Two tone color yes. piece is what it but is. But what really. was really cute is the flat has the texture. It, on yes, it. right. You want to show? Yes. No. Oh. That's the. Oh, I. Yeah. Well, this <laughs> is the flat. You see the texture of it? That's we showed it on the last podcast. Right. So that was the body of the sweater, and then we used the tint for the sleeves, and that mm -hmm. was just. But then you had striping in it, didn't you? Have striping yeah. in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. So, which you'll see now because Diana's going to put a picture. Yeah. So you had a nice weekend. I had a very nice weekend. Then we came home, got home really late, wasn't expecting to get home that late. And then Sunday we went to Cold Spring Harbor. At least you had Sunday off. It wasn't yes. like you were coming back to work on Monday. No. It was nice to have an ex another day. Yeah. But did you ever go to Cold Spring Harbor? Yes, I did. Did you do that hike up there? Hike? What do you mean a hike? Down There's... Main Street? No. It's like... No, I haven't done a hike. Well, like... No. Park? No. Anyway, there are a lot of nice parks out there. I know. Like even guys, in Huntington, there's a great park in it, Huntington right off Main Street. It was there. great. Mm -hmm. So it was a strenuous hike. I mean, I was huffing and you puffing. Huffing and puffing. Because you're Huffle, Huffle, Hufflepuff, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> Most Shopper people were puffing. doing the trail. We're like, when does this trail end? They're like, touch the tree and walk back. Oh, well, geez. we got to the end. Did you hug the tree? Hug. <laughs> we took the main street. <laughs> I'm telling you, we were like in. On the main road, walking back because we didn't want to do the steep right, incline right, back. Right. It was very strenuous. Clearly, I need to. Well, listen, work you know out what? That's, more, that's but it was yeah. fun. Then we had, at least the weather was nice. It was beautiful. It was really hot. That would have been even worse. No, it was yeah. nice. And then we had uh, we went to is it Kerber's Farm? Have you been there? No, we had breakfast there. It was nice. No, I haven't been. Anyway, there. that's in Cold Spring Harbor. No, I haven't been there. Have not been there. Well, I worked. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, geez. Geez. <laughs> no, but on Sunday, Sorry. what do we do? On Thanks Sunday, for holding the board, you're Pam. welcome. Then. I appreciate it. On Sunday, we, um, my sister who lives up in Boston in Cambridge, her and her husband All came right. down, That's nice. and they hadn't been, um, they hadn't been down to see Emily bought a house, uh, you know, this year, so they hadn't seen the house, and they wanted to see Olive and Lucy that must because have been they cute. don't get to see them that often. So it was quite nice. We went through a couple Family of bottles weekend. of wine. <laughs> what could be bad? It was actually, it was a the weather was absolutely beautiful. And it was funny because they left, they went back into the city and, um, you know, I drove them to the train. I came home and like an hour and a half later, I heard this rain. It wasn't even an hour and a half oh, later. And, the and then it started with the lightning and the thunder. So I, was crazy. I called them. I said, did you get back into the city before it started? Uh, did they? They were just walking to their apartment when it started. And Audrey, I think it might have gone through Brooklyn first because she said that she could tell it had rained. And someone today told me that it was thundering and lightning at like 6 p.m. In Brooklyn. You know, sometimes know that how, happens. Yeah, you know? I don't know how early. No, I think it must have been about 8 Ours was at 10. So. Ours was at 10. Yeah. Was it that late? Yeah, it was that. Yeah, because you're right. I took you're them to right, the 842 train. Yes, you're absolutely right. It was around 10. Shaggy was freaking out, and he was he was freaking out yeah, actually she earlier. Me the no, that's when he was under my bed. Yeah, Shaggy has a. Uh, we have the electric fans right, in the house, so right. we can't go upstairs. He's not wearing it because we feel bad, but he knows not to go upstairs. Right, but so every time there's thunder, he goes he's upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, right. He's afraid. Okay. But he hears it. About a half hour mm -hmm. before the thunder, like so. That's why I'm saying maybe they have good hearing. They have amazing very sharp sensory, hearing. yes. Yeah. So he was already acting strange and shaking right and before. Like he so we it coming, we right? knew it was coming. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, well, that was that was Sunday, which was very <clears throat> nice, you know, and um, and that was it. Nothing, right. nothing other than that too exciting, I have to say. All right, but fun. Good. So. Knitting. Talk Let's knitting? talk about knitting. What's what are we knitting? Let's talk about knitting. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have, Dinah? I've got my crop top. What do you got? I've got mine. Well, this is actually my boy lollipop. Right. Where I said crop top, but you're correct. Right. But it is a crop. You can't tell because yes. we're sitting. But it is a crop. My boy lollipop. My boy lollipop. Are you standing up? Do you want me to stand? I don't know if I should stand. I still have an end. Look, guys, <laughs> sitting on it. <laughs> You attached to the ball. This is my end. I'm not wearing the appropriate garment with it today, but that is my. You stand up, Diana. Let's see yours. Well, you got it. No, there's also. Diana's. We're wearing it. It's done. We did it. We did it. Was it. A, it was actually a very nice knit. We were just commenting how much we like the neckline. Yes, it's right? actually because reversible. In the back, it's identical. Yeah. It's very sweet. I've hoisted my girls. Yeah, the girls have to be hoisted, though. My, Nancy uh, is I have correct. Indents. <laughs> yeah, our shoulders in shoulder. have indentations. You really have to hoist my them up. Can, exactly. But um, I was going to say something about it just now. I don't remember what I was going to say. Are you going to adjust yours? I may go an inch longer. It depends on the pants. I'm going to wait until I and see if I can find a pant that's a little higher waisted. If I can find a high, the, that's what I was going to say. The pant that I was going to wear with this doesn't look good. Oh, with right. It. That's right. You had picked that yarn based on your striped pants. And I do not like them together. And I, I think it's not the, the pants or the stripe. The top of the pants, I want to say it's almost has, it, it's a, I'm exaggerating, almost like a ruffle. It's got this top well, ruching like that a... comes up, but it, I feel like the ruffle comes up to here, and this part of the sweater is in it. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't. It doesn't look right, and doesn't I, I won't wear it okay? together. Yours so I have like, no, no, yours, the jumpsuit pants. No. Mine has like this about this much fabric that's higher than the indentation. It just doesn't look good. Okay. So if I wear something, I think the top has to be a tighter top, and just almost something that goes almost like a bodysuit into the into the pants. You know, so it'll go from black to black. Right. I mean, no, no, that's how I It looks would... great with black pants, actually. Yeah, it does. I mean, this is nice. It's nice. And then I said, well, I wouldn't have picked this color. You were trying I to wash the pants. Yeah. So then I said, well, why but did I do this color great. then? But this is fine. I'm sure great. I'll be able to find a pair of pants. I'm just laughing because how many pictures did I send you from Dinah the Dinah went room? shopping last week to find <laughs> pants to go with a top. And she was <laughs> saying, I can't wear this. It's not me. But it looks fine on you, Dinah. Thank you. It looks fine. And we're she's, we both, we both used, and en not Enzo, we'll listen to me. Asylum fibers. Asylum fibers, fibers. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you know your colorway? Resistance. Mm. Resistance, huh? Yeah. I used uh, 
Howling Dandelions. Oh, that's such a great name. And I actually, I do have to say, I dipped into a third skein. So I did, did not I. weigh. Well, I it's I questionable it really when longer. I when I weighed what was left. Mm -hmm. It was like I used ninety nine grams of the second skein, which probably it was so close that um, I you probably could have gotten away with it. Uh, but. Well, I went into the third skein, so what I ended up doing at the bottom is I alternated. Um, yeah, every it looks row great. I change color you so you wouldn't no get because banding. I noticed when I got I don't know if it's on this side or the the I think it's on the back side if I were to turn <clears> around <throat> that it was a little more grayish it didn't have as much of the black in it and when I got down here there was a lot more black in it so then I alternated and then I kept when we, we talked about this because we thought we were going to need the third skein I had I definitely used it I had 58 grams left and I hadn't gotten to the ribbing yet Maybe I was just getting to the ribbing. I was just going to start the ribbing. And, you know, we didn't know if we wanted the ribbing to be a little longer. We were mm -hmm. thinking maybe we'd go a little bit longer than three and a half inches, right? And yes. I think, depending, if I can't find a pant that's a little higher waisted, I may add an inch or so to this. Well, I do have to confess, I actually did a single crochet around my neckline to tighten it. Did you do it in seed stitch? No, I was rushing. Oh, it looks like you did. looks fine. I didn't do it in no. Okay. Well, I have it online. She did it online. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were going to just. It was that. just, if I were to make it again, this is me now, me knitting. Would you I would smaller use a needle? smaller needle yep. on the seed stitch because it was too loose. And, and I, I think like that's why some people are wearing it kind of like off their shoulder. And that's a look. It looks lovely, but it's just not for me. So I wanted it tighter. Yeah. I feel like I could have maybe made a smaller size. I don't know. I think it's fine. I'm not comfortable with this tight look anyway. I will likely that wet block it on you. Don't and make it boxy. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't. Just get yourself That's a pair of high waisted pants. The comfort thing. You have to go shopping. Anyway. Okay, so, so those are our FO. This is our FO. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have another FO though. Yes, I do. So, Still has ends to be woven in, but Yes. <laughs> That's right. It's behind us. So I have this little FO, which is not so little. I know you guys know that I was late to the party on the garden party. I'm not that late. But you know, it just ends. The knit along ends this week. I saw her post on it. Yes. It ends like at the end of this so week. I actually made it. Yeah, you're not late. That's what I'm saying. You're not late. I did it. Yeah, you finished it. Hooray. Mm -hmm. That's like the, your third knit along. I know. I feel like it's the season of knit alongs. It is the season of <laughs> knit alongs. So this is the garden party. It's mm -hmm. done. I'm so proud of it. I do have some ends to weave in. It's really more on the other side. See? Oh, <laughs> I hid them oh in there. wow. Ooh. I've got the West knit look. Yeah, there you go. Not weaving in my ends, but I'm really happy it's done. It was a very quick knit. In fact, this weekend, Vanessa oh, was at Christie's was and one, she right? had hers there. And I was cold. She's like, "Let me get my garden party," and she inspired me to finish it. So thank you, Vanessa. Shout out to you. That was uh, good to get off my needle. Yeah, that's a nice project, though. Yes, that's good. Okay, and then I do have one more. Well, you do. What? <clears throat> oh, so yeah, yeah, I'm see. just laughing because I was telling Pam we are buying new bedroom furniture in my house. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I'm starting to clean out my bedroom. Oh, <laughs> I can <laughs> I'm imagine. Just, I'm <laughs> discovering all the projects and whips that I have. Is that right? That is absolutely right. And this one was so crazy. I had, she shows you what she had left to do on it. I had a sweater, a baby sweater, that was done. I, don't, I guess I was, I don't, I don't even know what inspired me mm. to make it. I think I just wanted like a fresh new look. Mm. So I decided to make Colors a... pretty. Yes. Um, so it's called the Simple Seed Stitch Sweater. I'll say that again because I think I was stuttering. Simple, <laughs> it's obvious. It's simple, simple seed. Simple Seed Stitch Sweater. And this is it right here. Uh, let's see if I no can get it. Up. There yeah, you that's go. better, yeah. So it's got a cute little detail. It's all in, well, it's done from the bottom up. Bottom up. Then joined as all in one. Yeah. And then you do the raglan shaping, and then we have the crocheted button band. Well, I had gotten so far. <laughs> as Show them what you did. Everything was done but except for the button band. The whole button band or one Only side? Only one of side of the button band. 
That's bad so, dining. It was really bad. So when I you figured, stop and think, it, it probably takes you 10 took minutes. Me 15 minutes. 15 minutes to crochet minutes. that button bend. And it took the me longer on. to figure out the placement of the buttonholes because yeah. <laughs> I had to do the math. That's probably why but you stopped, you know. This is all I had to do. So lucky for me, How though, that? I have another FO. <laughs> That's a shop Which pattern. Is, yes, it is a house pattern. So if any of you are interested, you can always email us or we give it for free with purchase. And uh, yeah, this is Joan pattern. Very Joan's sweet. Pattern, yeah. Yep. So it's nice one. because the little textured stitch at the bottom is nice because sometimes people have a hard time keeping stock in it even and it just works so nicely. Mm -hmm. Breaks it up. Breaks it up a little bit. And what yarn did you use on that? I used Sublime, uh, the baby, excuse me, baby cashmerino. It's a DK weight yarn. DK weight. Mm -hmm. I think it was three or four skeins of the main color and one for the accent. Mm -hmm. And that's a small size. This is the smallest size, I believe, mm -hmm. yeah. So the, it is sized. We do have it in three different sizes. This is the first size, which is probably a zero to six month size. And then the next size is about a year old. Mm -hmm. 18 months maybe right. and then a little bit older than that we don't okay. have it for a four-year-old but no <laughs> we don't have it for a four-year-old and the thing the nice thing with this also this sweater doesn't have to be striped you could keep it one solid color. right we have many customers who've done it because sublime um i believe they have yarns that are have a variegation to them as which well which is also cute there's so, so many ways to do the sweater so you could also do it just in the one one variegated color or you could do a variegated bottom in a solid With this, Yep. <laughs> Possibilities, Possibilities are endless. Possibilities are endless. <laughs> but it's a fairly simple pattern. So if I'm really good, I'll start pulling out a few more whips because as I find well, You projects, should do an Instagram post and put, put oh, um, combinations. Oh, for that? Yeah. Yeah, so I could do that. I thought you were going to talk about my, my projects that I need to finish. Oh, well, that, that oh, yeah. Well, I want to ask Diner. I mean, no, no, what, no. did you go through some of your stuff? I went through some, not all. I How, did. did you find any other projects that aren't finished? A lot. You did. Like yeah. what? What did you find? The Reina. The Reina. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. What else? Um, do you remember the vest from Filatura de Crosa? Which one? The one that has the cable, it's in the Zara Plus. Oh, it. that's a lovely you have that piece. Too. I have that too. Yeah. But you got much farther than I did. That's a lovely piece. Great, I like that piece, but it was wasn't it like following the directions were a little crazy on that. I never Not got so far bad. enough through it. No. Or was it just the customer had a problem and I'm just associating I think so. that yes. with a problem? Yeah. That's a great. We tried that on. That we were sort of the show about four years ago, right? At TNNA, it was gorgeous. My Mayak, the cabled sweater. The Mayak <gasps> part now. What My else? Jake's blanket. Well, that you have to finish. That, you know, that and and what would you say on these projects? The degree, the degree, the percentage of that. The, I was furthest along on that okay. one, so I'm like, well, let me was, just squeeze one out. <laughs> how much more do you have to do on Jake's blanket? A lot, a lot. How much more do you I have to, to have do his on by, the, his birthday? The Mayak. A lot. The Kalish cardigan. That there's a lot. I, I mean, I'm done oh, with that's the back. A lot. Yeah, that's a yeah. That's, that's an intricate. That's an intricate pattern. Right. So I'm um, probably I'm on the front. I what still have if, to do the two fronts, the button band, and the sleeves. What about the Filatura de Crosa? The back, I believe, is all done, and I'm on one front. Mm, you're 50%. All right, so I don't know why I do this. Because, you know, I'll tell you why you do it, because there's something else you want in it. It's crazy. <laughs> You've got cast on itis. That's what it is. It's true. You know. Well, listen, and I already to want to cast us. something else on. Like, I finished this. So I now you can this. knit. You can I knit, finished that. You can knit nine things now. Three times three no. is nine. So it's funny because, well, we did cast on for the Duchesne. Duchesne train. The Duchesne train. We said that the last time we had just had a, a very um, organic thing where everyone, someone was wearing it and people wanted to make it. We do a, it's it was at a lace class. class, right? So we have about, I don't know, is it it's seven, maybe seven or eight people making it? Right. Diana decided she wanted to hop on the train because she needs a long sleeve Duchesne. No, it's a long sleeve. I needed a black one. Oh, the same sleeve? Oh, you were talking. That was the other one. That's your, the other sweater that you're making. Right. I needed to make... I, I, you wanted it in black. The second I finished it, I knew I wanted a black one. You've been saying that. Yeah. 
So, so as soon as you more. decided to do that knit along, I said, I'm doing it. Right. And then um, Lisa is doing one in like a, an, it's not, I want to say orange. It's not it's like orange. like a terracotta orange. It's like orange. a terracotta, right. Which is very pretty. Beautiful. And so we started that last week. We have a lot of week. people making it. We started that last week. It's an easy knit. It's not a difficult knit. So I said to them, okay, guys. Do you have yours? I do. I'll I've done it. about one and a half repeats. Oh, here. I can um, actually show you the finished picture. Yeah, show picture. the finished one. Yeah. So that's, the, we showed this, I believe, last time because we may have mentioned it. And this it. is all that I've done so far. It's just the, um, very nice. The lace. And I think that I was reading the pattern notes and they were saying that, um, the back of it is stockinette, but as you, we know, Dinah knit both in lace because she had can't read, read it. instructions. Yeah. She'd read it incorrectly. So she did both front and back in lace. But when I was reading the directions, they were set, people were saying that, when they did the back and stock in it, the back was shorter than the front. Probably well, because you've got that dip in the front. Right. So what happens is, is uh, because of the pattern, this little shell pattern right, right here, it creates this little dip. Right. Across the back, if you do it in stock in it, it just goes straight across. Right. And that's why it appears to be shorter. Right. So in so essence, it's really the same it's length. the same length. Yes. It's just this little dip. Well, some people were saying that what they did... They ju had just done it that way, and they weren't happy with it. And some people said that they put short they, rows yeah, at the bottom before. Yeah, so um, so I don't know. Too so much work. It's, we're not doing short rows. I'm not putting short rows in that. I'm so. going to make it exactly the You're way I made mine. You're going to lace my... the front and the back. I, um, I mean, listen, it's it's two panels. It's easy. So it's not it's not complicated. Um, I think I like that better. Anyway, so we're going to see how how much we can push them to get this done fairly quickly. So I am guilty of having a little more time. Christy was kind enough to drive, so I was able to make a look at car. Dinah. Now, this look at hers. Do I have a mistake? No, I don't have a pull. You have a pull? So, no, oh, I wait, thought I did. coming this one. There you go. So, there it is. It's growing. Dinah has more than me. A little bit. How many repeats do you have? One, two, three, four? I'm not sure. Maybe one, the fourth one. Yeah. You're on the fourth one, yeah. So, that's that. But. When you knit only, this was the only project I took with me up to See, she was monogamous. Yep. You make progress. Well, that's... The truth? So I'm going to try very hard not to cast something on. Until because, what? Until well, that's done? No. <laughs> that would be too easy. <laughs> Until? I have Amos on my needles. Oh, you have Amos, too. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, How's that going? Did you do anything on that? I didn't do that much on it. I'm not going to show it because it's, it's at the same spot. I, it was I might have built up a little bit, yeah. So I'm hoping to finish. That. And Amos, if you haven't seen the oh. past podcast, it's a Shibui pattern using vine and fern. Yeah. Vine is a new paper okay. yarn, and I think it alternates every, was it four rows? Yes. Something like that. And um, Diane is doing it in a beige color, correct? Yes. Boom. So you see, you get that illusion when you hold it back of like a, a, a tonal stripe, which is very nice. You know, I'm thinking. So you're not going to cast on anything else until what's done. You're going to hold me the to this. Aren't the the, the, the <laughs> you're going to hold me to this. And that? No. They're both I easy. One. They're both easy. Dang. I have to pick one. No, what you should do is not this. You should say, I'm not going to cast on, this might be too difficult, until one of my projects at home is done. Well, I just finished that one. Well, do I get okay, credit so, for that? Yeah, well, but you got all these. I finish that one. Yeah, but you got all these. I know that's why I really want to finish. Right. I mean, I really should find. Something Listen, the else reality to is, you know, Jake. You don't have to get Jake's blanket done in the next two no, weeks. No, but if I work on it a little a bit little at, at a time. time. Well, okay. This this leads me to my girlfriend Patrice. I've been crocheting her blanket for how many years now? <laughs> yes. And I've mentioned this before. She got yawn up in an affair in Maine. This, this is why I knit best under in pressure. the sun, and, you know, and I would crochet. As a matter of fact, it's a church church mouse pattern that I'm doing. And it's actually, how do you get to your screen? How do you clear your screen? Like, how do I get rid of this stuff, Diana? Not sure. It's on my screen. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But um, she got a bunch of colors, and I've been crocheting it. But you Have know, you it, been working on it? Mm, I worked on it when we went up to Maine in September. I did. I probably did a nice chunk of it. Like, I well, think you do for another trip to Maine. <laughs> I cannot go to Maine unless that blanket is done. Oh my gosh. So I said to that myself just summer. the other day, take it out, 
Because it involves many skeins and it's gotten Is larger. It strips? No, but it's like, I, I do, I forget now what the pattern is, if it's one repeat. Are you doing that? This is it. Yeah, table? but I got to get rid of this stuff. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. But anyway. Turn your phone on and off. Is like that the, the way to do it? Oh, okay. this way. This one? There, there it go. is. This is the blanket. It's, it's a church gorgeous. Mouse. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a church mouse crochet pattern. Really and she pretty. got, a bu I mean, she must have, I think there's probably eight or nine different colors. So you ripped out what you were doing before. Oh, no, but I've gotten, I mean, I might have, I'm trying to remember how many inches it's uh, that it is now, 30 some odd inches. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this has to be twice that. At but least. if I did a row or a repeat a night. Well, what did we say on the Duchesne? We need to do seven rows a night to have it done oh, the front panel to have done by we when <laughs> next Thursday next Thursday I think I might finish you're okay you guys. Well, yeah you're fine but um we had a conference day at school today the kids had off so we had to go to these various you know seminars and things so I always sit in the back knitting away I hope <laughs> so you're knitting. I, can knit. I hope you're knitting so so one of the ladies sitting next to me said You'll have that sweater done by the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> that boring. Well, you know, it's fine. But, you know, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. You know, and you're drag. talking about English, what, a English as a second language. You know, hello. It's a little boring. <laughs> Thank God for knitting. Okay. Thank God for knitting, yeah. But so, I have to tell you, the second seminar was de-stress. I said, well, I just knit. I use knitting. That's, I use knitting as a de-stress. <laughs> very funny that's good anyway. was that one of the recommendations actually no actually she was talking about meditation um, yoga. yes and no she was basically saying that you're with your mind and your thoughts you um can i guess de-stress like you do affirmations like instead of saying well one day this will happen you say you affirm it to happen and like she was saying that getting sick is we cause ourselves to get sick because we like go, 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 go. And it's not that we're sick because we were next to someone who has a cold. We've got ourselves so run down that we, we pick up a germ and we do get sick. So if you take care of yourself in terms of, well, it's a whole big thing, but whatever. Excuse me. it was fine. Okay. It's just one of those things. But Sorry. you were knitting. I was knitting. And you were de-stressed. I was de-stressed. And... Whatever, all, whatever, you know, whatever good does in the it world. for you, right? <laughs> when our needles are in our hands. Exactly. What's right. next on our knitting list? Well, we spoke about our whips. Yes. I well, still have you actually whip. I have, have something else. Do you want me to show it to you? Absolutely. Let me find it. It's over here. Because this is what we were talking about. Well, this, this should be done by now, and it's not done. Why isn't it done, Diana? Because you ripped. You frogged it. I ripped. This is the Duchesne. Which, no, the Monoculus. Yeah, the Monoculus. I'm sorry. I absolutely love. Just don't drop those stitches, Diana. Don't you worry, <laughs> my friend. I should have it. Well, I was going to say I should have a needle keeper on it, but the ranunculus is this. Let me show you just a quick picture of it. it can be a short sleeve or a long sleeve. It's um, the yarn I'm using is this is on the tussle tweed. Yep. Which is, I guess, a finger. Well, it might be a a sport white. You really can't tell. You should put your hand in there. Maybe or, or a piece of paper or something. You know, hold this down here so you don't have to worry about that. It's very, very pretty. It's very open and it has all different stitches at the top. Certainly not a boring yet knit. No, it's not. Yet. And so you get <laughs> you split for the sleeves mm -hmm. and then it just turns into stock and anything. But are you doing the long sleeve or short no, sleeve? No, I'm gonna do the short sleeve version. But I um I had to do it over again because I totally read the pattern wrong. It said you needed a 10, a US 10, and a US 8. So, of course, the mistake that I made, I made two mistakes. Oh. That's the Tessa tweet. Excuse um, me. The two mistakes that I, I made. Coffee. You need your coffee, Diana. Is that um, I started with the 8, and then I never changed to the 10. I realized when I was, you know, I did the short rows in the front and the back. You got the through eight, the lace. And I got through part of the lace. And, and I, then I brought mine in to measure. You were right. questioning the length of it. Right. Because I knew, and I realized then, you know, then I stopped working on it last week. I said, because you know what? I could zip through it. I'm going to have to take it out. 
so let me stop working on it. But what I really did wrong was I didn't just not change my needle. I was never supposed to use the 8. The 8 is if you're doing the long sleeve version. It's The whole thing must be on the 10. She doesn't say with the larger needle cast on. She just says, this is what you need. And she says the 8 is for the long sleeve version. So I guess you're supposed to cast on everything with the ten, with the larger needle. There you go. But here so you I are. saw that. I forget it. Take the whole thing out. No, but it looks good now. Yeah, it and looks the neckline is much better. It's not as tight. You I mean, it's a loose knit. You wear something underneath it. You know, it's that kind of a look. But I am using. There've been a lot of them on Instagram lately, and a lot of people are using. It seems like a all of a sudden everyone's or a, br or a brushed mohair right. or. So I thought to do a winter version with the, like a, a skinny single. Right. Like a fingering with a mohair. With a mohair. Correct. I really. That would be nice. Where was I? I was in Italy. Mm -hmm. I was at Wool Crossing, mm -hmm. and she had such a beautiful one on her. What, what did she have it made out of? She had it made out of actually, I think it was the silk. Not silk cloud. It was the Rowan Kid silk haze, but with the okay. sparkle in it. Okay. And paired with the solid. With a fingering. Beautiful. Nice, right? Very. Yeah. It was gorgeous. Mm. And ever since I saw hers, I said I wanted to make you a winter weight version. Did that mostly. was I think Hello Stella just finished one. Lindsay with mohair. She did a mohair with a skinny single. You know, it's beautiful. And it just it looks it it does look different now. The BC Garn. If you look, look online, is that what they made it with? Did yes. they make it with? That's what the one pattern the, was originally on done On the with? original, that was one of the suggestions. Right. Yes, so, just like on the cover page. Because if looking. you go on Ravelry, that's the, um, does she say yarn? She says lace or light fingering weight. So. Right, but when you go on the, when you pull it up on Ravelry and yarn you look ideas. up. Yes, mm. not yarn ideas. The description oh, for Oh, she says the, that. Yes. Yeah. Remember, like, we just looked up Correct. for the other sweater? Well, she says right here, the degree of transparency depends on the weight of the yarn. Correct. So the thinner the yarn, my yarn is thin, so it's going to have a right. higher transparency. Anyway, so that's a whip. So I was thinking about casting on the ranunculus, mm -hmm. since everyone is making it right now mm -hmm. and doing the long sleeve version. Well, you already have a ranunculus. I do. A short sleeve version. I have the short sleeve. But then I was watching the Grocery Girls, and? and they brought Love Note to my attention, which oh. I had seen on Ravelry, Ravelry yeah. because it's very popular, from Tin Can Knits. It's lovely. And I'm thinking, I might just make this one instead. So it's kind of like the it's same shape. A short, it's a shorter version. It's not a yes. long sweater. And it's got the lace work, and I figured, it's well, so pretty. I already made the ranunculus. Maybe I'll make this one. Yeah. And... This is Amy from La Bien Ami. That's her wearing it. Yes. Right? I think she's a Now, what yarn did she use? Well, she must, uh, I know that Amy used her yarn. Singles. Yarns. Those look like singles. Singles yeah. with, the, with the mohair. Oh, she did. Yes. So yeah. it's also a skinny single paired with a mohair. Is this the pattern? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, listen, it's a beautiful pattern. Again, so that is on it's my not list of a, things um, to cast on. It's not going to take forever to make that. No, but. I'm really anxious to cast this on. And I also have the cumulus that I have to finish. Oh, you're almost done with the cumulus. I'm really not. I have to do the sleeves oh, and add to the length. That done. That's I know. another one you have Right. To get so if I can get it. something finished before the you next will. podcast, you will. You will. maybe. Maybe we can get, uh, I don't know if I can get maybe the chain and the ranunculus, the ranunculus done. In two weeks? Yeah. You don't think you I can. You heard it. You don't think I can, right? I don't think I can. Especially if I start crocheting on the blanket. <laughs> I do plans to go to Maine. <laughs> I don't know. It may July not be 4th. going if I don't have. No, July. I'm not going July 4th. No? It's too soon. She just gets up there around July 4th. And then I've got to open up the house and do all the stuff. It's a big to job. She's, she's right now starting to drive cross country. Oh, okay. So that's, you know, a big job. Of course, we'll see. But anyway, so Hi. bless you, Dana. Okay. Bless you, bless you. Thank you. So another thing that would have been for me mm -hmm. a whip. But I haven't cast on yet. <laughs> What's that? Is this? Oh, but you have the yarn for it. I do have the yarn for it. Uh, it's the it's called the Rigmore Rigmore Summer Blouse by Petite Knits. How cute is that? Super cute. I was going to make that for Olive, and the yarn I chose is if I could find it under here. So without my glasses on, it looks like she's got a bare bottom, but clearly she's, she's not. got a little <laughs> diaper pant on. <laughs> Well, to put my glasses off I'm doing, one. I'm going to be very dull and I think that we're just doing it in white for Olive. 
but um, I'm using from Barocco. It's a yarn called Modern Cotton. Want to do that, Diane? Sure. Which is a wool, or not a wool, it's a cotton acrylic blend. And it's a great, a great yarn. Really soft. We have the poncho. Yep, the modern cotton. Have we shown that before? I don't know. I mean, we must have about, how many, 20 colors in this? A lot. Yeah, I mean, I just pulled a few. I, You know, there's the very pale blush and a little pink. Rosy pink. And they're looking a little washed out, but a little lavender, a gray. There are so many great colors that you can do. And this, How many skeins is it calling for? I think I'm just going to need one. Wow. I mean, it's got two hundred. It's got two hundred and nine yards in a skein, um, and it's five stitches to the inch. It says generous sizing. It goes up to size five six. Correct. Yeah, from three to six months to five six. So it looks. It's done from the bottom up. It looks very interesting. Super it has, cute. Um, you know, it's 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 even though it's a baby pattern. I'd wear a t-shirt like that. Correct. You know, it's funny you say that because I've noticed in the past few days on that. Ravelry that there's one in an adult size. Really? Yes. And I don't think the pattern's out for it yet, but is out yet. But um, I said, that looks like the you one know, I'm doing for Olive. I have to tell you, what? I'm really enjoying my spring summer knits. They're, they are fun, aren't they? Because they're not I taking them. forever and you're using but them. I wear a lot. You do. Well, you're, you know what it is with you. You've accumulated because so last happy. year you have your Tegna, Tegna. Right. you have your Deshane that you've been wearing. You have that su morning sky. Morning sky. I did the Mirage. You did the Mirage. So, so you this have year all I of have those. So this year so far you've done the Roselle Tea. The Roselle Tea. The crop top, which right. And I you're going to do wearing. another Deshane. Another Deshane. And I have the Amos. The Amos, right. Right. I'm pretty happy. And I did the other one, the Arasu. Right. The Arasu, I did that as well, which is another lovely knit. Yeah, you wear your tank top. You also wear your summer knit. Yeah, yeah. And I have the other tank top. Yeah, I have to wear that one day. That's a great piece. It is. It's a nice piece. I like that a lot. But anyway, so this is this is a soon-to-be whip. I just feel guilty casting it on, but yet I want to get it done so Olive can wear it. I mean, how long could it take me to make that? Pam. Really? We have a warning on the computer. We have low battery. Are you serious? Is that right? We're not charged. Oh, geez. How low? How low? Okay. Go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Let's, Let's move. move. Let's move. What's next? We might die on you. What is next? Okay. So what's next? Well, on the mannequin, we have Riverine. Oh, let me move a little bit. So you can which see is it. a really pretty scarf by Shibui. It uses three different here. fibers. It uses, I love this colorway over here, so I'm going to show it first. Silk Cloud. Seema. Seema. And Pebble or Reed. Now, this particular sample was knit in Reed, but I do know that I believe the pattern calls for Pebble. And here you go, guys. Seema. Seema. Silk Cloud. There's no thought right. There you go. And, and Reed. Reed. Yeah. So pretty. That's pollen. Such a great color, right? Is. And what is the name of the pattern again? Riverine. Riverine. Mm -hmm. Is it a pattern on Ravelry? I believe it is, yeah. This was another colorway we pulled. And this colorway is Cove. How pretty is that for a teal? Now, certainly you can go with one of every color, but you don't have to. In this particular colorway, Pam actually did a little bit of a gradation. You have two in the Cove and one in the, is that brick or tango? Brick. It's brick. brick. Yeah. So that's really pretty because the dye takes differently to the fibers, and mm -hmm. that looks like a little bit of a little grade, but it's, it's like cute. a monochromatic. Yeah. That thing I like about it is it's so light. It's beautiful. Yeah, that you can really just wear it at any time of year, and it has such a beautiful drape on it. Mm -hmm. Wrap it around your neck a few times. You're and not I think it's done on. Is it on a bias? I think so. So it has like a pretty point, which is lovely. Is. Yeah. So super nice, as you can see. It's nice and sheer. Mm -hmm. Very light. And the color that Diana is showing you now it's is imperial. imperial. That's this color. Look at that, guys. How gorgeous is that? Yeah, that's what I like about it, that you can tie There's it. There's so many things and with it's, it. And it, you don't feel like you've got too much you're around your choked. neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you Which can I actually like. open it up and just wear it cascading and on your shoulders. you don't like so much color, then you can always do a neutral. Okay. How pretty is that? Beautiful. It's fog. It's fog. 
But anyway, there are so many colors in um, Shibui. Yeah. Right? Yes. So move along. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to lose the battery. Uh, we talked about knit alongs. And yes, yes, we, yes, yes. We were saying this is the season of knit alongs. Yes. How many knit alongs are going on right now? So many. Too many. I know that we have one that is going to start the beginning of July. All Correct. I don't know. Maybe. Yes, that's right. That's Barbara right. Barbara is going to be leading all the lights by Hohi Locatelli. That's correct. It's a Hohi pen. So if you would care to join us, stop in. There's still time to buy some yarn. Mm -hmm. And I know that July 4th, there's one yes. from the um, Olive Knits. Marie Green, I think, who is Olive Knits. Um, and the history of this is apparently there's been um, about two years ago, she had some time you know, a few days She'd where she wasn't four. busy. And she said, can I need a sweater in these four days? So she, I don't know if she designed the sweater. I don't know that much if she designed it or what the story was. At that time, it was, the pattern was called Stillwater. Right. That was the first. And she did it. She did it. So then I think someone said, you know, you should do that again next year. I don't think that it was so much organized, but I don't know how it came to be. But then last year she did it again and that was the beekeeper cardigan, and that was very popular. There were a lot of people last summer knitting the beekeeper cardigan knit along. I wanted to do that one. Which is lovely. I would still like to do yeah, that one. That's on should. my list of things to do. So now this year she's doing it, and um, it's it's a little it's very well organized. So you it's have the, the info, Fox right? Trot. Yes, I do. It's called the Fox Trot. This is it. It's pretty. Very pretty. They're okay. using a worsted weight yarn. And if you buy the pattern uh, between now and June 26th, you actually get $1 off on the pattern. The pattern is $9. You'll get it for 8 mm -hmm. And it'll appear in your Ravelry, or you'll get an email as soon as the release goes out. Which is the next day, the 27th. Right, and I think it's... Uh, like now, if you sign up for it, you can pre-order that you want it when it's available, but they'll tell you what weight yarn you need and right. how much All yarn you need so you can, you and know. And you could see it actually on Ravelry. Right. If you look up, um, I'll actually put the name of the I'll sweater. I'll put the name of the sweater. It was Foxtrot, I believe, one word by Marie Green, mm -hmm. if you're looking on Ravelry. Right. And so this, the the start date for this is July 4th. And you don't have to do it. Why are they days. saying July 4th to July 18th? Because I think initially when she first started it, it was she had time around the holiday or okay. whatever it was. And that those were those four days. Mm -hmm. So they, they're saying July 4th to July 18th. But, I mean, you can you don't have to finish it. Oh, well, maybe this will be our Independence Knitting. Independence Day Independence knitting. Day, there you go. And, um, and that's it. So, you know, you can pre-order the pattern. You can get it at the end of June and begin it on July 4th. Right. She wanted to cheat and begin it sooner, but that wouldn't be right. Right? Right. So what yarn we were thinking of was, um, I mean, you could do it in, you know, any worsted weight yarn, but we were thinking of Rios by Malabrigo, right, Dana? Yes. And actually, when you look on Ravelry, I Not think that was the, the, the most popular, most yarn, popular yarn right now for the pattern. These are just a few colors. Oh, here's another one. So this is magenta. This one here is Sunset, Glitter, Cloud Sunshine, and Mate, which is a really nice. Beautiful colors. Yep. So but if you're interested, come in and get it. Yep. yep. So what color are you going to do, Dinah? Mm, are you going to cast on? I'm on the fence between these two. Mm, I know what you should do. You should do this one. Magenta. You don't have anything magenta like no, that. No, I don't. I'm going to do this thinking, one. That's a great colorway. Don't you love that? That's fabulous. I do like this. This is sunset. called Sunset. I think I'm going to have to do that. There you you go. know what would be lovely? Wasn't Maybe we didn't. I don't, do we have it, Rio? So I don't think we have it anymore if we did. That deep navy. There's that beautiful navy. I don't think we have it anymore. I don't now. think so. I don't think so. That's, but there's so many nice name. colors. There's, I, I'm trying to think of some of the names now. I don't remember. There are so many nice colors Thanks you could so do much. it in. There's pearl tan, which is the dark color. Plomo. Plomo. There's um, the cloud sunshine. There's cloud several sunshine. like that, though. I can't think of the names of them now. So it's something night? Star, no. Paris night. No, Paris no, night. But That's the navy. Right. Yeah, we don't have Paris That's a night. Great, yeah. yeah. That's a great color. I'll have to look into it. Maybe we can get So anyway, before. who, who, before we run out of battery, who's going to be knitting this? 
Hi, Anne. Who's jo- joining this knit along? <laughs> How many <laughs> knit alongs can you be a part of before you go crazy? And how many knit alongs are you a part of? Now? Yeah. Is anyone else working on knit alongs right now? And if you are, maybe there's ones we don't know about. Maybe we want to oh, yeah. jump if you're on working those. on a knit along, let us <laughs> we're know. Not, we're not doing enough. We need to add a few more. No, but you know what? The knit alongs are nice because it kind of keeps you in check okay. or keeps you accounted. What's the word? Accountable. Accountable. Because you want to get it done. Right. Well, you know. I think what turned me off a little bit, not that there's anything wrong with it, because there's not, but like the mystery knit along, when you don't know what it looks like, and you have to be, I there's too I much pressure on that, because I, the next it's clue is next colors, Thursday. And but it's not just that, even like trying to find the right color to go with it. You don't know it. what it's going to yeah. look like, so it's hard. Yeah. So this is more of my speed in terms of the kind of knit along. Right? Yes. We get to see the finished project. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you don't have to finish, but of course, if you can, it's amazing. Yep. I don't know. I think for my size, I need six skeins. Yeah, we were six saying skeins six skeins in four days. Yeah, Diana no was way. saying if it gets six skeins in four days. We might as well shut the shop <laughs> if we're going to try it for that one. That's funny. Um, we might shut the shop. You just have to knit all day. Yeah. Okay. So we did get Oh yeah. a couple of new things. One of them are these beautiful cuffs from Knox Mountain and their colors. So nice. they're actually not on the website yet, but here is it's a blue, right? A pretty blue. It almost looks like a snake skin, but it does some faux of some sort. This one here looks like it black, is. although it's coming up looking a little blue. I think it's just the reflection of the screen. Then we have this gray. It's pretty. I like the gray. This is cool. This is red. Oh, look at that! It's like black. a sunset. Red and black. It's neat. Oh, it did. Look at that. How, How did you describe that? One? It's like a, a, a black wash know. over a red background. Yeah, it looks background. like a wa- Yeah, right? that's what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, this is like grommets. Nice. Gray. And I guess I don't have to go one by one. This one is cool. It's stitched. It's got like a green suede mm-hmm. going through it. That's just plain black. And this one is pink. So if you need color in your shawl cuff. Or on your have, wrist. Or on your wrist. We have a few. There you go. Sold some, but we have some left. What's that hat you have over there? Oh, that's right. I wanted to show this cute little hat. How darling. How cute is this for a little is baby? This hat? little hat. Little teddy bear. So this is actually a pattern. This was just dropped off for finishing. It's in Stitch Nation. Yes, you said it was Stitch by Nation. By Debbie Stoller. And it has adorable mitts. Cute. They're actually here. We have to duplicate stitch the paws on it but an adorable set so if you're looking for a cute, a cute little hat for a little one knitted gifts this is absolutely darling cute. thanks for reminding me yeah, Pam. Just sort of look at the detail on the back it's cute yep it's a nice Super tip for cute. a little kid's hat you know it's got the little button yeah it's a little stays on ear right? flap it's not an ear flap chin strap chin strap mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah it's very pretty and that's it we have more shibui that just came in but it's just reorder so i'm not gonna right show it that's crazy and we do want to say a special yes, thank you we have yes. a shout out to melissa who went she was in paris to paris and she stopped at lobby enemy and she was kind enough to get pam and i some pins can you try to get this you can read it. are these both from uh lobby enemy yeah. are they both twill and print twill and print yeah yeah so they're from Lobby and Amin. It says, it's always, always sweater weather. Sweater weather always. I, oh, no, sweater weather forever. And what does this one say? Do you know? It right. says, I do. It says, Lobby and Ami, yawn nerd. <laughs> Does Melissa think we're thing? yawn nerds? She must. Know. Anyway, very cute. Thank yep. you, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa, that if you're was watching. Lovely. lovely, lovely. We have to pick who gets what. I know. Let's just put it in the hat and I grab it. I think that's I think a good idea. Because Diana and I can never say which one we're taking, right? Right. Crazy. And that's it. I think that's a wrap. You think that's it? So anyway, well, we should also mention that um, subscribers, we're nearing 2,000. Well, like 150 away. 150 away. 148 to be exactly. Just before the podcast. But So well, we're going we to have to. You have plenty of time to think about what it's going to be. Well, we're going to do a prize for 2,000. We're going to do a prize for the 2,000th. So maybe in the next episode. How are we going to do it? It's going to be not for the 2,000th subscriber. No. We're just going to do. Celebrating 2,000 if we get there. You know what we could do? We could say, what was your favorite podcast? That's a cute (laughs) one, right? What was your favorite podcast? Then they have to watch all of them. 
Or well, that, that's not true. They, they could pick from what they watched. They could pick from what they watched, yeah. That'll anyway. be fun. Sounds good. Very good. Well, we have to go. You know why? Our Not only are... is the battery going to die, but we have a lot of knitting to do. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, let us know if there are any knit-alongs that we're missing. That we should be a part that of. That we might want to be a part of. Or yeah. maybe we can advise the customers, you know, and they might want to be a part of it, right? There you go. And if you want to be a part of the July 4th, the four-day knit-along, if you feel so inclined... Feel free to stop in. We'll help you pick out a color. Yeah, or jump on, you know, if you don't live local. Whatever. Yeah. Just Go to your local know. yarn shop and get some yarn. It'll be fun to uh, knit this one together. And if you can get it done in four days, we're going to be very jealous. Right? Definitely. I'll be crocheting. I'll be crocheting like a demon. <laughs> we're working amongst <laughs> other things. I'm going to have two knit-alongs because I'm going to um doing the all the lights also. Yeah, well, all I've the lights, though, yarn. is going to be a longer knit, though. Yes, yeah. that's not going to happen. That, fast. I think, your schedule is going into the fall, correct? Correct. Because don't forget, then there are some Rhinebeck sweaters we have I know to do. we have to have a meeting. I have a very good idea for a Rhinebeck sweater, then I have to Guys, tell you. I'm just what are you knitting for Rhinebeck? Now, don't it's put not... that pressure on me now. No, but if you are if you know what you're knitting for Rhinebeck, leave a comment. I know we do. I know we do. Really? Yeah. Well, I know. You probably know, but you don't remember it. <laughs> Well, let us know what you're thinking about. <laughs> and and uh, if you tell me yours, I might tell you mine. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank Are you we going to podcast time. again? When? Before we go to TNN? Oh, I don't know. That's yeah, right. We're two going weeks. to TNN. We're, we're trying to be on a two-week schedule. Wouldn't it be fun to podcast while we're like chill? Why don't we do at TNN? Oh, you can do a TNN. Thank you. I have to think about that. We could do that. Maybe. We'll see. We'll All do right. something. Well. We'll let you know. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful evening. Happy knitting. And don't forget, subscribe. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>